All right, everyone, I'm just going to do a quick uh, Arduino just, just for the channel. Uh, I, I'm still working on like the full tutorial, like video covering everything. Uh, I recorded pretty much everything, but uh, I wanted to cut the fat. I just retake, retake everything. Um, so still working on that, still working on that. Um, so basically when your Arduino comes in, it's going to look just like this. Uh, the USB hole shield is already going to be attached to the main board. Um, everything's going to be QC tested. So once you get it, this actually doesn't stay in here. Go ahead and take that, get, that's just for shipping. Uh, this is actually, this USB port is for your mouse. Uh, this is a 12 volt power, sorry, it's actually nine volt. Excuse me, a 12 volt will kill this thing. Nine volt uh, power supply uh, with one amp, one amp uh, power supply. Um, that really only for Valorant, people use this for Valorant. Um, and if you want to know why, I don't want to get too into detail. This, this is like the only exception. Uh, ask me about that. Um, micro USB. This is, uh, at first, you're going to want, as soon as we attach the USB to TTL, the CH340. Uh, I'll show that in just in a second. You're going to want this guy and the micro USB. There's going to be a blue cable that comes with your Arduino. Uh, you can use that. You can use a longer one. Um, this is as long as it works. It's, if it's a good micro USB might be a dead cable i don't know uh but the blue one uh should work good uh it's just gonna be shorter both of these uh the micro is gonna go at first into the second pc and then the usb ttl goes into the second pc and stays into the second pc it doesn't leave um after after the card is after the arduino is flashed with zen mouse um uh, zen mouse has about 100 percent uh mouse compatibility which is really awesome there's other cam box replacements um that's the big thing why why i choose arduino over over uh, Sega Mac U or uh, or the Raspberry Pi the the, the teen, uh, Teensy uh, what is it called Teensy uh, th those those are uh, other alternatives but I don't recommend um, all of them are gonna do a thousand hertz uh, I would say the Arduino is probably a little better anyways um, both of them at first are gonna flash on the second PC afterwards this part this micro USB goes into the main PC um, this is gonna be the the spoof uh spoof end basically and this is what your computer is going to talk to to get the aimbot signal uh from the cheat provider uh and it'll send it send it to this guy here automatically pretty much um okay and then after that you're going to want to wire this guy uh once you get your order uh after, i just want to explain a few things uh here you can see five volts this is what's important the color the color wire colors might be different they do not matter i could literally take all these out plug it into a different order they don't matter what does matter here you can see five volts um I, I'm, i have the yellow gap here the blocker so you don't plug it into the wrong spot uh and then you get your transceive txd uh receive rxd and your ground which is the gnd um so basically you want to start with the five volt run see which wire it is yellow uh, in this case is yellow um, find where the black button is on the host shield and then from the pins closest you can want to count one two three pins over from the right next uh, actually you want to go down to the bottom here grab the ground which happens to be white and you want to plug it in buddy buddy to this one but uh, if you want to count it's four pins from the right or three pins in from the left so one two three pins in the left and they're going to be plugged in buddy buddy right next to each other after that you want to grab the txd which is going to be this green one here it's the one that's going to be closest to this yellow blocker grab that guy and this is going to go adjacent opposite on the arduino to the very first pin here very first pin lastly uh you're going to see your receive only uh, only only wire left is gonna go buddy buddy oh these do these will fall out so just yeah, that's a very good point uh, thank God that happened because uh, these will to make sure these are st stay in um, they can just they're, they're jumper they're loose jumper cables uh, so if they ever fall just just make sure all the contacts are secure make sure the contacts are secure here but um, just so you can see how the wiring is here. Oh, can't block the wire color. So the receive is gonna go buddy buddy with the transceive. The transceive goes on the most left pin here. 
away from this button, opposite of this button, basically. And then boom. And then pretty much everything's ready to go. You, you're going to want to plug it, this guy into your second PC, plug the micro USB in, open up Zen Mouse, um, get a subscription to uh, Zen Mouse first, zenmouse.com. Uh, that's currently there. The, uh, Eventually, if there's an, ever an open source or free something like that, uh, I'm gonna start pre-flashing these guys. Um, but as of right now, Zen Mouse is the best, the most secure, um, and it's twenty dollars. Uh, uh, there's a, there's another firmware out there, but it's more expensive, and it's not as secure, so it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, and then after, yeah, you're gonna uh, after you get a subscription, you're gonna open up the loader. Uh, make sure you download all, all the dependencies. I have the dependencies in my Discord. It's also in Zen Mouse Discord, the dependencies needed to run the application. Uh, and then you're gonna press one to flash, and then you're gonna press the bootloader button, which is either this one or this one. They both do the same thing. Um, and then it's gonna start flashing. You gotta make sure there's a mouse in there. Um, and then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna flash the mouse? You only get one mouse flash. Uh, so make sure it's the right mouse, hit enter. Um, and then after that, you want to press two on the activator. Um, basically as long as it stays in and stays powered, it won't lose activation. But if you ever restart your second computer, you're going to have to go back into the Zen mouse loader and press two to reactivate, uh, the USB to TTL CH340, uh, for it to send aimbot calls. Otherwise the pass through will work. Uh, so you can have your mouse plugged in here and you can still move it without the activator. That's about it. Uh, thanks for choosing Ghost DMX.